Hello and welcome to another GM Details product review. And we're back with part two of the Monster Shine series and we're going to have a look at Cyclone Snow Foam and Dominator Hybrid Wax. So first up, obviously, pre-wash, we're going to use the Snow Foam. Now the Snow Foam comes in two sizes. You've got a one litre, priced at £10, and a five litre bottle, priced at £20. So fantastic value for money on that one. If anyone likes a snow foam that has a nice scent, this one is exceptional. It's fizzy cola bottles and it really does smell like fizzy cola bottles. It's really nice. Fills the air with the scent while you're washing the car and it just smells fizzy. It's, it's so strange. As you can see there, puts on a lovely thick coat which clings very well. Now when it comes to diluting the product for use, um, that's the only thing I couldn't find on the bottle. And in looking onto the website, there's no information on the website either about how much you should use. So I went with the standard 50ml and a 450ml uh, of warm water for the lance. That's the sort of standard I use now for most snow foams. And as you can see, it's produced a lovely thick lather. Whether it actually cleans at that dilution, we'll see in a minute. Everyone loves the sound of the gloopy droop of a snow foam. Now the wife's car's getting a very rare clean on camera just to compare the light and the dark coloured cars. So on the darker car you can see here just how good the thickness of the foam is. Not overly thick, I mean there's no point to having super thick foam. Say you have foam which is like shaving foam, it's about an inch on the car. Looks dramatic, looks fantastic on Instagram. but. When you think about what's cleaning, just the part that's touching the dirt on the car. That's all that's cleaning. The rest of it is just for show. It doesn't mean anything. So there's no point in waving your snow foam lance around and building up the foam layer after layer after layer. You're just wasting product, wasting time. It hangs about on your driveway. It might do what mine does and goes onto the neighbour's driveway and annoys them but it might sort of wander down the street and then you get kids and their bikes coming through the snow foam and making snow tracks and really do you want all that attention while you're washing your car because then the neighbours will just come out and ask you when are we doing mine? Okay, so run over. Now this bit's very important. Once you've used snow foam, take the, the snow foam lance bottle from the bottom and uh, pull the trigger have some water flowing through the lands and that cleans out the the flow pipes and the pickup pipes and all the pipes inside all the internals with water and it rinses away because if you don't the snow foam can sort of congeal in the the brass connections and block the tiny little orifice that's inside and we don't want a blocked orifice so clean your lances people now i didn't pre-rinse the, the Fiesta on purpose just to see how effective the snow foam would be on a dirty car. Years ago when snow foam first came out there was an argument about whether you should pre-rinse the foam because pre-rinsing meant the car was wet when you were applying foam so therefore the foam would easily slip off the car and some would say leave the car dry when you're applying the foam but then others would say that was then allowing too much dirt to build up on the foam and uh, to build up on the car and it wasn't getting to the layer of traffic film underneath it. 
Can you see what I mean? It just goes round and round and round. So everyone has their own methods for doing it and how effective your snow foam is going to be really depends on the product itself, how it's been designed to work with even individual lances. We'll, we'll put on, like say, my lance there is a PA lance. It's a good quality lance from Autobrite Direct. It's made in Italy. The Chinese copies are far inferior lances as far as I'm concerned. On the bottle itself, it explains it absolutely perfectly. It's a line from Full Metal Jacket, the movie. If you haven't seen it, go and check it out. It's an absolutely brilliant movie. But it says, this is my lance. There are many lances like it, but this one is mine. <laughs> and it just, it's just fantastic how it, uh, it, it's exactly that. That you'll find one that you like and use and love it. And that's fine. That's how you go. Um, lances vary from 20, 15 pounds up to, I think the, the dearest one I've seen is about 80 pounds. Um, but, you know, find a lance that suits you. The, the, the ones that I wouldn't recommend are the ones from Nilfisk and Karcher. They can be they can be quite uh, quite bad for just not generating enough pressure to build up in the foam. Goes on a weak dilution or a solution and the snow foam itself isn't as effective. So spend a little bit of money. I would recommend the Autobrite Direct PA Lance. Um, I haven't tried any of the, the MTN or anything like that, so I, I can't recommend them. But I have seen the results from them, and they do look very good. Um, but as it is at the moment, I'm happy with what I've got, and I'm just going to stick with it. As you can see here, the snow foam has been clinging on for a few minutes, and it's very easy to remove. No streaking, no residue hanging around. Very, very simple rinses off nicely. So if you're wondering why I'm rinsing from the bottom to the top it's simply because from there you can see where you've been and it allows the jet of water to remove the dirt that the snow foam has softened. Another thing I like to uh, see how good a snow foam is is if, how it can deal with bird crap. So on the roof I had a splat which was baked in with the sun so with the snow foam and the rinse off, it should have softened it up and just see how much it's removed it. Yep, no evidence of it there. That's done really well. Pleased with that. Okay, so now time for the swipe test. Alright, so it hasn't removed a great deal of the traffic film from the car. It could be because of the lack of instructions on the bottle for the dilution, or it could be the fact that it's a pH neutral snow foam and needs a more alkaline one. And back to the BMW, so we'll see if we have any more luck with rinsing off this one. So on closer inspection, it looks as though it's done its job. It's removed most of the surface dirt that was on the car. And in between the gaps, it's yeah, it's done okay. Just have the swipe test. And again, traffic film still left for your contact wash, which again, from a pH neutral snow foam can be expected. But these areas could be pre-treated with some APC before the snow foam for an even better clean. So we'll have a look at the front of the car and there's been some bugs on there as well. They haven't softened, they haven't been removed, but again, pre-treatment with APC would see them off just the same. Moving on to Dominator Hybrid Wax from Monster Shine. And now this is something special. From the minute you open it and it's just, to me it smells like mango, but apparently it's actually pina colada and drumstick scent. But with that type of bottle, it's so easy to just over, over apply on the applicator there. Um, I would rather see that with a, a, like a squeezy flip up top or something, just like you would with a glaze or something like that. So maybe possibly something to address from Monster Shine, but you know, with it being over applied there, well, let's just see how it goes over applying a wax anyway to see if it comes off. Spreads so quickly and easily. I mean, you couldn't do that with a paste wax. 
I mean, these pads are excellent. I got these pads a while back and recommendation from uh, Dave from the Detailing in the Beast channel, uh, an AliExpress special, but I mean, they're uh, Lucillian or Lucillian uh, pads. They're really soft, um, work really well with this liquid wax. It's, 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 it's a pleasure to use. Now we're applying in direct sunlight as well with the wax, doesn't seem to be a problem with it but we'll see what happens when it comes to buffing off. We're covering quite a large area with you know, the initial gloop that came out of the bottle, cover the, uh, the lenses of the rear tail lights as well, give them some extra protection and pretty much this has covered like the whole boot lid and the, wing, the rear wings bumper with that one pad. And Monster Shine aren't giving anything away with what's in this wax. I mean, all it says on the website is that it's a, a unique blend of T1 grade carnauba wax and polymers. But obviously, with it being a hybrid, there, there's a, it's a mix of your carnauba wax with some sealant technology in there as well. So we're expecting some good things from it, and hopefully there'll be good beading and sheeting uh, to come off the wax, that's what we're expecting for it being a hybrid. And here is the wax's unique selling point. Not only can it be used on glass and paint, but on plastic trim as well. So really, the one bottle of wax can do the whole car not to be used on the windscreen, but the whole car, you know, when was the last time you were able to use a wax and actually go over your plastics, your glass, your rubber trims, you know, it, it's just phenomenal, it's really good. So you're using a hybrid carnauba wax and actually going over plastics without any fear of any residue. In fact, what it does do with the plastics is it, 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 it nourishes them, it feeds them, gives a restoration if it look to, towards them. It's just, it, it's, it's unbelievable. Now we'll do a little 50-50 here with the door panels just to show you how good the restoration is on the plastics. Fantastic, eh? So I was speaking with Stephen from Monster Shine the other day about Dominator Wax and using it on, around the car on the plastics and they actually recommended to me at that point not to buff off from your plastics and it just gives a, a nicer finish, a more uh, natural look to the, the plastics which I would recommend. That's not to mention the time saving element as well of using a wax and actually just going round the whole car, not having to worry about it with the, the white residue around your plastic trims. This actually benefits the plastic trims. Have I said that before? I just can't get over how good it is on plastic trims. On a side note here, if anybody has an F series BMW Sport model, you can see there that sort of bluish trim around the, the fog light there. Now that's not supposed to be blue, it's supposed to be piano black, but due to some either UV damage or some sort of chemical damage, um, BMW denied that it was a, a fault in production. But you can just see there in that bit there's like a, a circle. So you know, on some forums they mentioned that some people had managed to get them replaced as part of a uh, warranty, but uh, mines had just gone out of warranty and BMW refused to take any uh, blame for it, saying that it must have been something that you were washing the car with or whatever, it's an easy cop out. So it's just maybe to see, pop in the comments, if you have uh, an F-Series BMW Sport model and uh, do you have this uh, sort of strange phenomenon happening with your piano black trim on the front. Just 
do a little swipe test, I was ready to buff off, it's in the right sunlight, it was slightly over applied, I was expecting it to be a bit grabby and it, it's not, it comes off quite easily. It actually feels more like a glaze when it's been removed. There's a little sort of powdery coating and then you just wipe the cloth over and reveals that lovely high shine. No streaking. I really love it. Same again on the Fiesta. There was a little bit more of a problem with when I was waxing the car then that as I applied the wax I got halfway through and it started to rain. So even after a rain shower, back to the car and you know, it still buffs off fine. So it's really, really good in all conditions to remove. I don't recommend waxing your car in the rain. Now on the front grill it works particularly well together it's because you have that chromed plastic and the grill being plastic and uh, the wax actually brought up the, the chrome really well, really shiny. So here's the results on the Fiesta. It's lovely, glossy, smooth, deep reflections in the paint. Plastics look fantastic as well. I mean that's, again, let's just go over, it's just from one bottle of wax. And with it being a hybrid wax as well, you're not only going to have one or two weeks worth of protection, it's going to protect on for months after months after months. And I would recommend after the next wash, after maybe next week or the week after, that you would then go over with the hybrid detailer just to allow that gloss and shine and protection to last for months and months and months afterwards. It's an epic trio of products going from the gloss lock that takes care of all your swirls, scratches and provides a little bit of sealant on there as well. Then go over the top of it with Dominator Wax and then a couple of weeks after that go over it with the Hybrid Quick Detailer. And I could imagine well in excess of six months worth of protection on your paint there. It's worth thinking about isn't it? So there you are, the difference between a lighter car and darker car. On a darker coloured paintwork you have the glossy, smooth, deep, darkened look. On a, on a light car, a white car, you have that crisp, 
sealant like crispness to the paint. So who'd like to see what the beading's like? Okay then. So this is next day, so the wax has had 24 hours to cure and I've just set up a, a, a trigger sprayer and just as an effect of the rain falling really you can see how the beads just form absolutely perfect uniform round beads once it gets too hydrophobic it then starts to allow the water to pull and sheet off the car if that's the kind of thing you like go and buy some Monster Shine Dominator Wax. And not to leave out the beading on the BMW, it just so happened to an utter downfall the next day so this is genuine rain on a freshly waxed car so in conclusion let's go back to cyclone snow foam i like the snow foam it's got to be one of the best value snow foams in the market especially five liters for 19.99 that's a phenomenal deal um so you know even if you only want the liter it's only going to cost you 9.99 for that go and get some go and try it you can mess around with using APC with it as well or you can upgrade the snow foam I think it's called the ambassador snow foam which is a, a higher level um, alkalinity snow foam so you know that will be more powerful um, so then again moving on to the dominator wax really easy wax to use absolutely incredible I hope that the video has shown you that here on different colors of cars as well so that's a bonus the beading and the sheeting from the car is fantastic. Now, when you actually drive along the road, those, you know, the the, the beads sheet up the car, and it's 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 fantastic to watch time and time again. And you look forward to it raining next time, um, so that you can see that happening on your car. And believe it or not, it actually leads to a more self-cleaning element of that. I've never seen my car stay as clean for as long, so that's another bonus towards it too. So I hope you liked the video, I hope you made it to the end, I know it's been quite a long one, so um, I'll just end it here, so if you enjoyed it, give us a like, if you didn't enjoy it, give us a dislike and pop a comment in to see what could be improved. Hope to see you on the next one.